All right, so just a quick recap or like a rundown of how I have uh, these compressors set up on transducers for control. So I've got two compressors under here. This is for a uh, an old carrier AHU, right? I've got two. I've got these two compressors. You can see I've got transducer, transducer, transducer. It's the same. So I've got high pressure, low pressure, and oil for both compressors, right? And I've got a board that's in this cabinet. Right, I've got this board where I've got my six transducers all landed. So I've got three here and then three here. They're all landed on my five volts. And then for each compressor, I'm using three ROs. And essentially what's happening is I have this transducer tied to this RO. So one transducer tied to one, two tied to two, three tied to three, right? And I'm running these in series where I have my control wires, I have a control wire coming up into common, normally open, jumped over to common, normally open, jumped over to common, and then normally open control wire going back. And I have this panel right here. This is where my contactors and everything are. So these are my control wires right here, right? So uh, just kidding. These are my control wires, right? So I have one side that's going to my contactor. And then that is being jumped over to this contactor. These are split winding compressors. So I have two contactors. And then I have the other side that's right here that's going up to my fuses, right? These are my fuses right here. So I got compressor one, compressor one, compressor two, and my air handler. But I have those wires tied in to my contactor and then to my fuses, right? So that's kind of, that's how that's wired up. It's the same thing as like, um, like peanut controls or uh, like manual controls or mechanical controls. The only difference is I'm using a board, relays and transducers instead of uh, dual pressure control or an oil control or anything like that, right? So, and then if we look at the controller, The way that I have this stuff set up on the controller is just analog sensor control. So if I go to sensors, I have AHU compressor one, high, low oil, compressor two, high, low oil, right? So if I go into my uh, high pressure control, this is R22 or 422 Bravo. So it's a R22 replacement. You can see I have it labeled as AHU comp one, high PSI control. Inputs is that high pressure transducer set points. I have it cutting in at 200 cutting out at 300 So 300 is 130 degrees converted. That's usually what I set my um, High pressure controls to I convert whatever gas to 130 degrees and then I'll put that as my cutout Depending on where you're at if you're in the desert where it gets like 120 in the summer That's not gonna work. You're gonna have to bump that up. But uh, for a starting point rule of thumb I go with 130 converted Right, outputs, that's that uh, RO point that's out there. And then the rest doesn't really matter. But you can see I have each one of my transducers tied to a relay. Now remember, you can only run one relay off of one transducer, right? Or one relay, you can't use one relay for multiple uh, points. You can only use one relay for one point. You can use multiple inputs but you can't use, or you can use an input in multiple different applications, but you can only use one relay for one application. You can't use one relay for multiple applications. And then how this works is I have, right? You can see where they say on, off, on. Um, all three of those have to be on and calling in order to energize those contactors. And then what's happening is I have solenoids that are then tied to um, just the main AHU. So these solenoids right here, these two points right here are controlling those two solenoids. And that goes off of store humidity and store temperature, right? So
these two solenoids right there, right? So when the store temp gets too hot, it's gonna go ahead and energize that solenoid. That solenoid energizes, it's gonna push refrigerant through, and it's gonna close that low pressure control on that contactor. Once it closes that low pressure and that oil, then it closes these contactors and that compressor starts up. If for some reason the pressure gets too high or too low, then those uh, relays that are inside here, those relays open up and kill that compressor, just like my compressor safeties. So that's what I keep on saying is this is just like running a normal safety circuit, but instead of using mechanical controls like dual pressure control and oil controls, I'm just using uh, board and ROs and AIs. So just a quick little run through and update now that I've got all that set up and it, it runs. Um, it's not calling for it right now, but I've watched it run for the past two days and dialed everything in and everything runs great. It runs perfectly fine like that. So take that, put it in your toolbox. Let me know what you think. Later.